you can see we're cutting out these um, rear bins, these companion bins. They they have got some in structural integrity to them. I mean, they're not. Um, I mean, everything on a mini's it's got some kind of structural um, reason for it being there. I mean, they were made as pockets, but I'm pretty sure that they also gave it some rigidity in the back as well. Um, the main reason to cut them out is because we have to put this eight-point uh, roll cage in here, um, and it's a real sod to get the drill down in here. So. He's going to cut that one down about two, two centimetres and it'll be in line. And we can see we've taken the back seat as well, which is not required, we don't need it. The cage itself is going to stiffen the whole shell up anyway. And what we're looking for now is to see exactly where they're planted. Um, so we can weld three mil plates on the bottom here, under here. Um, and then I will extend them slightly longer than the actual plates um, are on the on the actual roll cage, and then we can build a, like a half moon piece, which I'll show you later on. So that's it. That's the second side in. So nice fit, so nice easy fit. So that's on. Now the door steps are on. We can now. Um, start looking at doing the front bit. So I've just got to weld the box section inside, so I'm going to turn the car over now and do that before, uh, so I can leave it upright. This is the box section I was talking about. You can see that there's the box. In fact, it's a really nice place to use the, the earth clamp because you can plug it in that and hold where this where this goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld these up now on, uh, on camera. I've got four of them to do. And they're very big holes. I used a hole opener to open them right up so there's plenty of uh, meat on them. So here we go. cleaned it up yet because unfortunately it's been raining for the last god knows how many days a couple of days and the water's just coming in uh, on top of this garage there is a pergola up there and the roof has gone on it it's been up 10 years and uh, in summer we're going to have to strip it off and redo the roof but take the whole pergola down just to refelt this roof you can see there's a, a drip coming in there through the light so we're going to have to turn everything out you get the same problem in the UK, I'm sure. There's at least, there's another one, a bad one over here where it's really damp, you can see. See, it's, it's absolutely pissing in there. Look at that, son of a bitch. Anyway, yeah, it is what it is. So I'm afraid the, there you go. You can just see the drip there. Yeah, so there's a drip just coming. It's gonna go right next to that light, so we better be careful and uh, what it is, I know exactly what it is, it's where the palings or the purlins, whatever you want to call them, go across, they're at an angle because this roof is sloped backwards obviously to let the water run off it and then the roof or the floor of the pergola it has to be flat so obviously the battens are quite large and then they go taper down to next to nothing but what's happened is this because they're so long, the screws have pulled up and it's pulled through the, the underfelt and uh, damaged it and that's why it's leaking. So anyway, that's where we are. We've got both sides on. Uh, Mia's next door putting on some, uh, in fact I'll take you through. He's, he's getting the door frames ready in the, in the areas. So, this is, uh, this is him doing the, the rear subframe. It's a bit, you can hear it, it's absolutely honking it down. I don't know if you can hear the, the quiet. Yeah. Anyway, so he's using the big sandblaster to do. Uh, there's the doors. Where's, where's the other one? Inside. Oh, yeah. So that one's there and it's done the subframe. But we'll pack up 
because uh, we leave the lights on we're going to have another we, <laughs> we were working away oh, uh, Amir was working in there doing a sandblast and there's the other door um, and suddenly the lights went boom went out so obviously some water had gone into one of the extension cables so yeah, something to be very careful this is a room I built on afterwards and it's watertight it's no problem but the guys that built this uh, it's not their fault, I mean, the bottom line was, is, well, they should have thought about it, I guess. What we'll do is we're going to use aluminium uh, strips and not actually attach uh, in, the, in, the, in the roof. We're not going to screw, put screws in or, or threaded bolts. There's nothing going to pierce the, the new uh, top when we put it on in the summer. So, yeah, um, I'm under the same cosh, guys. It's not all, uh, it's not all roses. So, as usual, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby, and we'll bring you back uh, when we've got some more done. But as you can see, they're cut down really nicely now in the back. Um, you know, for, for a normal road car, they are, a kind of, they are integral, really, because they are pockets, but they've made them that way to stiffen up the arch. Um, you know, some people say that they're not integral, they are, of course. But of course, putting an eight... Uh, eight point harness and it's going to make it extremely uh, it was really more for drilling you can see it's much easier to get the drill in there but I was talking to Keith Richardson from Gentleman's Motor Racing and he was saying um, if you're doing sprinting you have to keep these companion bins in it has to be as the, as the shell was initially so we were quite strict on those kind of things anyway as I was saying stay safe keep the faith enjoy your hobby and we'll bring you back hopefully and we've got some more work done and it. it stopped raining, my god. The, the, the scuttle in place you can see, we've, uh, it's, it's got to be re-welded a bit, bits and pieces there. And a couple of bits, and he's going to go over it now, you can see where it's just been spot welded on, but extremely strong. And this one is on here. I mean, normally it would sit on the wing because we've made these, uh, what is it, three mil, isn't it? Uh, three mil wings. They're further down because of the uh, carbon fiber. It doesn't look like they need any supports in there. Seems pretty solid. That's the other side we have to build up. Um, so yeah, there's one of the doors on, you can see. Got a nice, uh, got a nice fit on the door. So what we're going to do is um, get the front of this cleaned up, put a bit of primer on, and then tomorrow we'll start on the on the A panels and fitting up the front. So we'll take it back off this jig, uh, put this hydraulic uh, table here under it, and then we can set it up and see how everything sits on it, and then uh, and then go from there. So that's the door skins on. So I think by uh, middle of next week we should be ready to. To go. Fortunately, we have enough primer, white primer, to, to put it in prime. So we'll bring the heater down here and just do the best we can. So I think probably end of next week. Next I think by Friday next week we should be able to get it in primer, and then we just take the body up to the other garage. So we're doing mechanical work. Um, yeah, that'll be pretty much pretty much it. Um, we can actually take it off, we can weld that, that'll be one of the last things we weld up because we won't need it anymore. If we need to put it on the jig, it won't need the bar through it um, because all the seals and everything are done. So, there we go. So, yeah, another job. That's the original skull, and they had the two end pieces, and they were magnum and they weren't, they were quite difficult to, to put in, but that's what it is. So uh, it's a track car. It's not. Uh, it's not for showroom. But it, it should be a nice finish. It's pretty seamless there. But Tom, that's all done. Uh, Rewelded, refilled, and cleaned. These finger sanders are the dog's nuts. Um, the the electric ones are okay, but the air ones are even better. And the finish you can get is, is quite remarkable. So there we go. And then we're not going to put in the panels underneath because obviously um, all it does is trap rust under there um, and it's not connected up to the wing either so but we can clean in there if we, if we go on the track and it's wet uh, yeah, it's no big deal especially with the front coming off it uh, it's just another nuisance 
So, there you go.